Hi, this is Anthony, and welcome to my show. The old adage is, never invest in anything you don't really understand. But we all seem to ignore that advice on occasion when we find a hot, high-tech stock that we don't really understand the technology behind. But since it's going up, it must be something cutting edge. And then as we buy, the bubble burst and we lose money. And of course, there's a lot of stocks like Amazon, Facebook, excuse me, Meta, and Tesla that are both kind of sexy stocks and ones that I've done pretty well with. But sometimes it's good to have some boring stocks in your portfolio. They're boring because they're not the ones that people are bragging about owning, and they're not the ones that the shoeshine boys outside your building are giving people advice on. Rather, the, the slow and steady ones that plot along and over time seem to slowly go up and reward the patient investor. I'm going to tell you three. There are ones that I either own now or have in the past and made a profit on. I'm not going to go into much on the fundamentals because you should do your own research. Don't buy these based on what I say. Simply use this video as a starting point to do your own research. The first stock is Pool Corporation, stock symbol P-O-O-L. As you might guess from their name, they're the world's leading wholesale distributor of swimming pool equipment, parts and supplies, and related outdoor living products. If you have a pool, you realize that pretty much it's a hole in the ground that you dump money into. And whether or not you use it much, parts break and you have to replace them and you have to maintain a regular schedule of upkeep, which is going to cost you money regardless of whether the pool is used or not and regardless of what the economy does, what the inflation rate is going to be, or what monetary course the Federal Reserve might choose to follow. Since the beginning of this calendar year, pool is down about 10%, but in the past year, it's up 37.5%, and in the past five years, it's up 371%. It also pays a small dividend. The next point stock that I find interesting is Crown Castle International Corporation, ticker symbol CCI. CCI is a real estate investment trust which engages in the provision of access to wireless infrastructure via long-term contracts. It operates through the following segments, towers and fiber. The tower segment offers access, including space and co or capacity towers dispersed throughout the United States. The fiber segment covers access, including space or capacity of fiber primarily supporting small cell networks and fiber solutions. Like pool, CCI is down a little over 10% since the beginning of this year. But the one year return is a respectable 17.11%. The five-year return is 112%, and if you would have bought it in 1998, you'd be up 1,316%. It also currently pays a dividend yield of 3.19%. The company has been steadily increasing the dividend amount for at least the past 10 years or so. As a real estate investment trust, it's going to usually pay about 90% or more of its profits to its shareholders as dividends. And the last stock that I'll mention today is one that I've talked about in a previous video. It is IDEX Laboratories, ticker symbol IDXX. IDEX Laboratories Incorporated is an American multinational corporation engaged in the development, manufacture, and distribution of products and services for the companion animal veterinary, livestock and poultry, water testing, and dairy markets. Like my other two examples, this one might be considered to be on sale this year. In the last two weeks, it's down 16%. In the past 52 weeks, it's up 8.15%, but that's taking into factor the recent 16% drop. For the past five years, it's up over 345%. Unlike the other two, this one does not pay a dividend at this time. So that's my three stock ideas. All of them are in businesses that are fairly simple to understand and explain pools, cell towers, and veterinary supplies. As long as people swim in pools, use cell phones, and own pets or operate dairies and raise chickens, these companies will have customers. They are the type of companies that I believe that you can buy now and hold for the long term and not be subject to wild swings based on what the Fed does or how the crypto market is doing. Obviously, like any type of company, you need to keep an eye on them just in case management starts to do something stupid but I think that their past performance demonstrates that these could be prudent investments as part of a well-rounded equities portfolio. 
And earlier I mentioned Amazon, Facebook, and Tesla. Those are three of my largest and most profitable holdings in my portfolio. I'm not giving investment advice, just entertainment, but those are also three that you should seriously consider when putting together an entertaining portfolio. Again, please remember, this is not financial or investment advice. I'm not a financial advisor, just somebody on YouTube providing entertainment. If you like this type of content and want to see more, it would really help me if you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, please view my other videos, and if you like them, click the like button. And feel free to leave comments, even if you disagree with me. I'm on Instagram at Anthony R. R. Mills. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your investments.